All right, brother. Finally got this dang thing done. I'll uh, I'll admit to you, man. The uh, fan I put on. So I used to, you know, I had three of these cases. Probably got ten years ago, and uh, I had put a smaller fan on one of them. I think I had just the right size screws where they wedged just perfectly, but. Dude, I spent hours figure out how to get a fan on this thing, man, because the heat sinks are, are the, the the fins on the heat sinks are just spread to do far apart, where you just just easily be able to put a screw through there. I tried every screw I could find around here. I even went and purchased some metal and uh, attempted to make you a little top where it bended, you know, went to here and bended across, and uh, started drilling the hole for that in in the and my dang hole saw caught up with it and bent the whole piece of metal luckily it didn't cut my dang hand man uh i got so upset with that man i, I just put it away for a little while because i don't really have the proper tools for doing machine work and stuff i hope to be able to purchase some more so i purchased some more hardware and uh got this 24 volt fan right here and what I just went ahead and did, man, I can't believe I didn't think about it before, but I purchased some uh, bolts, just the perfect size. And I had to do this very, very, very carefully or, or the drill bit's going to punch through the heat sink to the amp. So I, I drilled four holes down in here, as you can see. So the fan is literally mounted on the heat sink with, with, with the with actual bolts i mean that's the best way to do it so you can sit here and pick up on it and ain't gonna be happy, no problem at all and i know you've already seen a, a video of this thing working and all and, you know i backed it down i believe in between that last video i did because this amp does not need to be doing 500 watts brother even with this fan on it this is not enough heat sink for that much power dissipation this would be a perfect driver man absolute perfect driver you could use this to drive pretty much uh i mean you could almost use it to drive another two pill but i wouldn't do that you can use this it'd be a great driver for a four pill and uh a good driver for a six pill and some other uh amplifiers out there as well and i've got to where it gives you a pretty good variation of output with the variable and uh I think you wanted me to label this up here as well. I'll see if I can't do that, but it's real simple, man. This is on off. This right here is your preamp. See, it's real easy to remember which one your preamp is because your sideband delay is not going to light this LED up right here. This LED is your transmit LED, see? That's your transmit LED. So that's really easy to remember. That that's your sideband delay right there. And that right there is your preamp. Can't promise how well the preamp works. It's just a regular old, regular old preamp, man. It ain't the new GK Pre or nothing like that. It wouldn't fit in here anyway. But anyway, just real quick. Input reflect, five watt slug. Dude, dude, virtually not even moving. Uh, 250 watt slug, PEP. Top scale, dude, a little bit over 150 watts. Uh, 500 watt slug, RMS, middle scale. Dude, a little bit over 100 bird. Dude, about 125 bird. That's in there, buddy. That'd make a great driver. Of course, if you hit it a little bit harder, it's going to do a little bit more output because I do have some attenuation in here. Uh, just monitor. Monitor the, monitor the heat that this heat sink is making, okay? Because since there is attenuation in here, it can handle a little bit more drive because it has to get more drive to get up and going. Yeah, this thing can do four or 500 watts, but don't do it. Just don't do it, man. If you want this thing to last you, this was this was designed to do what it's doing right now on the meter. That's how I designed it for the guy I particularly built it, particularly built it for. <laughs> That's the the exact way I built it for him. Because uh, 
just he just he just wanted 100 watts. He actually just wanted 100 watts PEP. Well, he actually got 100 bird. Oh boy, I'm just glad to get this done, man. I know you've been hanging in there with me. I ain't gonna raise the price up or nothing for what we uh, talked about for adding the fan. You know what it is. 20 bucks. You better probably spend about four or five hours on it. That's called not efficient working. <laughs> if I had everything I absolutely needed, this probably would only have took me about an hour. But it is what it is. I won't, probably won't never have another case like this again, so... And also, I did paint this, by the way. I did the best I could, some high temp paint. A little of it's gotten scratched away, but, and this uh, was painted by my, by my paint guy. It's a uh, metal flake, licorice black. All right, we'll see you, man. Thanks for hanging in there with me, bud.